Hey guys, it's uh, Trivia Games or Adam and season 5 is less than a day away so in today's video I'll be going over 5 major changes we'll be seeing over the course of season 5. And before we jump into today's top 5, I want to remind you guys of the giveaway I'll be doing over the month of July. I'll be giving away a total of 30,000 V-Bucks and to answer it is so easy. All you have to do is drop a like on this video. Let me guys know right now in the comment section below if you want the giveaway what skin would you buy? And I'll be picking all the winners on the 10th of August. Starting us off here in the number five spot, the first massive change we'll see here in the fifth season of Fortnite is the theme, right? But the theme is something we've had for a long time, or a theme. For the second season, we had the night theme, of course. For the third season, we had the astronauts. And for our recent season, or the one we're in right now, which is season four, we had the superhero theme but for a lot of these themes it didn't really translate on the map right you didn't really see or notice these themes on the map a little bit more in the fourth season for sure when you had the crater with you know the the meteor down there you had the the, the superhero match and you had the layers all that's at the rocket launch so more in season four but in season two and three you couldn't tell it was a space theme by playing the map right you could only tell by unlocking those skins in the battle pack but in season five we are gonna not only have these themed skins but the entire map will change along with it we'll get more into all of the new locations later in the video but we've never had such a massive change to the map like we're about to have here in the fifth season because we've had some things taken out like the factories and of course dusty depot which is now dusty divot but we've never really had you know, massive popular areas removed from the game, and that's something we are going to see. It's not just one or two, it is like a ton of popular areas that have been in the game since the beginning, so it's gonna be really interesting to see all of these locations actually in-game, what they look like, and all of the other small changes that we probably won't know about until it actually drops. So coming in at the number four spot, another massive change we'll see here in season five, has to do with the skins, right? We all know about all of the leaked Battle Pass skins. We have the Cursed Captain Tier 100 skin. We have the Indiana Jones Tier 1 skin. We have the Time Traveler uh, Battle Pass skin as well. So those are all skins that kind of revolve around this massive theme we're going to have. But skins outside the Battle Pass is something that we'll see a bit of a change. So with every single season we've had, if you look at Season 4 with the superhero theme skin, all the skins released in the item shop kind of revolve around that theme. So since Season 5 has so many themes all going on at once, we have the pirates, we have the Vikings, we have the Japanese mythology, we have the Egyptians, the, the dinosaurs, since so many things are kind of all going on at once, the things we'll see in the item shop will probably be the craziest we will ever see it here in Fortnite just because they can kind of just do so many things. They're not really restricted or they don't really have to focus on just superheroes or just, you know, the astronaut stuff or space stuff. They can really expand and go crazy because since they have all those themes going on at once, I just cannot wait to see what kind of skins we're going to see here in Season 5. And I'm really hoping that some of these item shop skins will actually have things uh, like customizable, you know, face masks or uh, customizable colors like we saw in Season 4, just to make those skins even more epic. So here in Season 5, expect a lot of crazy skins to be released in the item shop. So next up, we're going to be talking about something that really doesn't have to do with the Battle Pass because with every, you know, new season we get we're always gonna have massive changes to you know the battle pass we're gonna have changes to the map all that standard stuff that goes along with a new season this is something that's just gonna happen in season five and that is going to be a massive nerf to building it was announced kind of like mid or towards the late end of season four and we haven't really heard much since so obviously this nerf to building is gonna have to happen here sometime in season Season five, and for those of you that really don't know about this, or you're somebody that uh, doesn't understand why there's going to be a nerf to building right now in Fortnite, you know, building has really taken.
taken over, right? Building is kind of the, the the way to win Fortnite, right? If you don't build, you're kind of screwed. And for new players, that can be really, really intimidating. So if they go ahead and nerf building, it will definitely help appeal to new players. The game will grow. And Epic Games has already confirmed that they are going to make a change or they're going to nerf building. So there's other ways, other strategies to actually win in Fortnite without building. So... We don't know when it's going to happen. I'm sure, you know, towards the the middle of Season 5, maybe towards the end of Season 5, we'll see this nerf, but it is going to happen sometime within the fifth season here in Fortnite. Next up in the number two spot, we have another thing that is unrelated to the Season 5 update, the Battle Pass, the, the new theme, all that stuff. It's the gifting system. And the gifting system is something that we already have right now in the game. We already have the option kind of to disable or enable uh, receiving gifts. But of course, we can't actually gift skins at this point and gift items or pickaxes, all that stuff. But sometime during Season 5, we will definitely 100% see this feature being added to Fortnite. And why is the gifting system being added to the game? Right? What's the point of this? One thing people are doing right now, you can actually go into eBay and look up Skull Trooper. People are actually selling their accounts because they have like really rare skins. And obviously, that is against the terms of service when you make a account on Fortnite at Epic Games definitely is not happy with that they're against that so what they're gonna do is add in the system where you can actually gift and trade skins here in fortnite so the gifting system is gonna either work really well or it's just gonna be one of those useless features that no one really uses just because with the whole gifting thing you know sure it's gonna work if you're like you know you know playing with a friend and you want to trade a skin like you can easily you know do that but when it comes to like wanting to actually get uh, a skin from some random person, you know, then you're going to run into scammers and things like that. So obviously, this is going to be a hit or a miss. Maybe it's going to be bigger than we think it is. Maybe it's going to be an actual like trading platform or who knows. Maybe one day we'll see like a marketplace where we can actually like legitimately buy skins or trade for skins. That is something that would be really awesome. But we don't really know exactly how it's going to work yet but very soon we will have this system in Fortnite. Last but not least, in the number one spot, the biggest change we're going to see here in Season 5 has to do with all of the new locations and of course the map changes. And we've never really seen anything like this before in Fortnite. We've never had so many, you know, OG locations get replaced. And we don't even know how much will change. We only know these things from leaks. And we don't know exactly how many areas will get completely transformed. So the first place we know of is Moisty Mire. That'll get replaced by Pirate's Point. And of course, it's going to be pirate themed. So pirate ships will be on the sand. There's going to be gold skulls. There's going to be treasure. There are going to be cannons, there's going to be a cave where you can loot. So everything you expect with pirates will be at Pirate's Point. So the next place that is going to get replaced is Lucky Landing. And Lucky Landing isn't a super OG place, but it has been in the game for a long time now. And Lucky Landing will be replaced by Captive Castle. And Captive Castle will be obviously a castle. It will have walls surrounding the castle. It will have an armory. It will have a stable for horses. And obviously everything that goes along with this theme. It's nothing too crazy, but it sounds pretty interesting. The next new location, this one sounds the most interesting to me, and that is Lonely Lodge will disappear and turn into Jurassic Jungle. And pretty much just the lodge will disappear and everything else is going to kind of get grown over the the last major thing that's going to be there or remain there from the lodge is that big tower you can climb up but everything else will pretty much go away there's going to be dinosaurs there there are going to be caves with dinosaur eggs in it the waterfall is going to stay there but it's just going to be like this massive jungle with vines and just everything being grown over that we currently see right now in lonely lodge again except the the massive lodge that we have there right now so the last locations we know is going to change is the motel will disappear and turn into a wild west location kind of like a wild west town and of course the soccer field will disappear and it will be kind of an egyptian themed area with a pyramid and all that crazy stuff besides that we really don't know how much will change on the map 
you know, obviously Tomato Town has a portal, uh, Retail Row has a portal, so maybe those areas will change as well, but we really won't know how much will change until tomorrow and I just cannot wait to see how different the map is gonna be. So those right there are five of the biggest changes we're gonna see here in Fortnite. Obviously there's gonna be more things that we just don't know about right now, but season five is definitely going to be a awesome season, a very different season from what we've seen before, and I cannot wait to see all of the changes that's gonna happen with Fortnite, and of course, things like the material nerf and the gifting system is going to be exciting as well. Besides that, guys, enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite's top 5 videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.